Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. This is Steve Gamash, and we're looking at a new line uh, that Chef Knives to Go has brought in, at least at the time of this video. This is the Tojiro Color Series. It is the 270 Guto model, and this might be my favorite one of the lineup that I've handled so far. The uh, core steel, they just call it molybdenum vanadium stainless, so they don't really talk about too much what's in it, except it's a good just kind of a decent performing stainless steel. The heat treat, they don't really specify. I'm taking a guess and figuring it's probably around 57, maybe 58. A guess on my part. The construction is mono steel, so there's no cladding or layers. And they call it the color series because they do offer it in different uh, food safety color handles. Mark is bringing it uh, to our shores in just basic uh, black, so never goes out of style. And the weight on this is 8.9 ounces, 226 grams. Um, the handles are pretty light because they've got probably a stick tang in there, so they're not full tang or anything. That's kind of nice on this one because it brings the balance point forward, more like a traditional wah handled blade. And uh, for me, it's just about right on the money for a pinch grip, so it gives you kind of a nice neutral feel and a little more blade forward weight than you would get with a traditional, sometimes uh, western handle with a full tang. So it might be a little more familiar to you if you've got if you like that weight forward balance in your higher end Japanese knives. Edge length on this one was 270 on the nose, about 10.6 uh, inches. Overall length, 16.2. And the spine thickness, these are fairly thin knives coming out of the heel. It's about 2.8 millimeters. And it pretty much holds it until the last few inches and then it tapers down and gets a pretty thin tip. So the tip actually performs pretty well. And uh, blade height, pretty generous at about 53 millimeters. Plenty of clearance. Let's take a close-up look at the finish and the handle. These handles are nice and grippy. They've got uh, a bit of a texture to them, and they've got a little bit of give to them as well. So they've got a real nice grippable uh, aspect to them, and they feel comfortable in the hand. Uh, here is your blade finish, which is a pretty nice blade finish, and the grinds are actually pretty decent on these. Um, the You've got a screened-on logo there talking about the steel made in Japan color series. Some of the knives you might find have a little bit of a sharp edge on the spine or possibly the choil. Some do, some don't. If you get one like that and you can just clean it up real easily with sandpaper if it is objectionable and increase the comfort level. Um, out of the box edge, I'll give these about a 5 out of 10. They're cut pretty nicely. The bevels actually are cut pretty well. Not a lot of polish, but pretty standard finish that you'd see in a lot of Japanese knives. The steel for me sharpened up pretty well. It was not objectionable in its characteristics. Didn't create much of a burr for me, so I, th I thought it was pretty reasonable from a sharpening perspective. Uh, this blade's a little thicker than some, so it's a little bit stiffer than the 210. And not a ton of stiffness, but it's got some stiffness to it, kind of in between. And let's look at the profile. This is a nice, this would make a great prep knife for uh, a culinary student. If you're in an environment where you're worried a little bit about, um, you know, any kind of issues with people using your knives or taking your knives or whatever you might have. If you've got friends that want a big knife that don't want to spend a lot of money or you want a spare knife around, uh, these are pretty nice. Uh, they're a lot of knife for the money. Here's your profile. You've got a bit of a flat spot towards the back third of the blade and then a gentle curve with a little bit of belly. So I can get about right there before you start digging the tip in. Plenty of clearance for board work. Just a pretty solid lineup of knives. So. Nice profiles, pretty decent grinds, uh, reasonably thin tip on this one, performs pretty well, and just high value line of knife. So this is the Tojiro, the color series. This is the Guto, the 270 model.